Hello YouTube. I have here uh, several uh, food cans and I'm going to use these food cans uh, to build the prototypes of uh, downdraft rocket stoves. Uh, these cans you can see the, their sizes, their dimensions. This is uh, height and this is uh, diameter. Okay, measures are in uh, centimeters. Okay, and this is the big one. This is 24 uh, centimeters high and uh, 21 and a half centimeters uh, diameter. Uh, what I intend to do with these uh, cans is uh, I'm going to be a bit stubborn and uh, insist again on uh, making a downdraft rocket stove. I made in previous videos videos uh, experiments with downdraft rocket stove with ideas that I exchange with uh, trying too hard and uh, let's see what happens. Uh, this, these two types of uh, cans are going to be the burning chamber, the combustion chamber. With these I'm going to build the uh, chimneys and the uh, downdraft tube and these the big ones of course are going to be used as the heat exchanger. Let's see what happens. I am making this project uh, because uh, as you remember in uh, one of my first videos uh, on downdraft rocket stove uh, it seems to work okay. You see, it is nice, it uh, challenges uh, logic, uh, and uh, it was working, and uh, I want to see what exactly I missed on the second project when I tried to build a more permanent uh, uh, stove, not just a prototype, and uh, let's see what are the factors that are uh, influencing uh, the success or failure of this uh, downdraft rocket stove heater. Let's see how much I advanced so far. Okay, this is uh, the upper part of the heat exchanger. Okay, exit to the chimney. This is the feeding tube for and the combustion chamber for the rocket stove. Here is the downdraft tube. Okay. And uh, all of this is supposed to sit like this way in uh, the bottom part of uh, the heat exchanger. Now, uh, nothing is airtight over here and I have here no materials to make it airtight at all. Okay, chimney, it's going to be simple, I'm just going to pile few uh, cans like this way and you can see here that uh, this can is inserted under pressure inside this can I'll try to do the same over here I'm going to cut this lip and try to insert one can inside the other now you can see here let's see if there is focus there is a lip that is somehow going inwards and the top of the can the lip goes outwards okay so they are very easy to insert one in inside each other and uh, if I cut if I cut the bottom over here okay and if I put oil here in the lip that is go going inwards I can press a bit and insert one can inside the other. That's what I did here and that is what I did here in the downdraft tube. Okay, the stove is working for more or less uh, 20 minutes. I wanted to burn all the inside of... Uh, uh, there are all sorts of materials inside because this is uh, a cans for uh, preserved food. Okay, you have here the chimney, there is no smoke at all. I wanted to make a comparison between uh, two stoves, one with a longer downdraft, another one with a shorter downdraft. This is supposed to be the longer downdraft version. Uh, the downdraft uh, tube is uh, 80 centimeter, 18 centimeters long, it reaches down here more or less, and uh, this is uh, the combustion chamber. As you can see, it is uh, like uh, 30 centimeters long, um, there is uh, uh, there is here 
I put here a shelf to allow some hair to go underneath to work to work as uh, secondary secondary hair. I don't know if you can see it. It's not so clear, but uh, believe me, fire is going downwards. And uh, the only explanation I can see here that uh, this is a small prototype made with uh, food cans. Very simple stuff. Lots of uh, hair gaps. Uh, it is not hair tight. Works so well. And uh, in one of my video and in one of my videos that you saw or uh, several videos uh, version of a uh, uh, downdraft uh, rocket stove with uh, uh, made out of steel and uh, supposedly been have been built very well why it doesn't work i think it is because the heat exchanger here is much bigger when compared to the combustion chamber and the downdraft tube let's call it the rocket stove core okay downdraft rocket stove core and that is why I think it did not work. Here it is a much bigger uh, heat exchanger, okay? Fairly small uh, downdraft rocket stove, and uh, you can see the result, okay? Fire is burning, okay? Now only uh, hot coals now, hot charcoals, and uh, no smoke it's uh, and uh, the wood that I'm using it's just uh, these bits of uh, cypress that I had here I just uh, broke it I was too lazy to go and get the uh, small uh, uh, small twigs well thank you for watching one other reason uh, why this stove works so well uh, is that uh, there is no buffle or there is uh, no uh, interruptions here inside of the heat exchanger where the 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 fire and gas and hot gases they exit uh, the downdraft tube over here and they go up straight without any sort of interference in the middle to the chimney this uh, may be very well one of uh, the reasons why the, the this rocket stove works so well uh, I don't know I cannot uh, show you numbers or figures about uh, heat output I can say it is fairly hot but this is very subjective because I have no thermometer or any other device to measure the heat output of uh, this prototype okay but believe me it's uh, it's very warm and nice okay once again no smoke hey the fire is going downwards Thank you for watching.